Hey everybody, Ken from Gold Strike, and today I'm going to show you how to install the three-way adjustable highway pegs with twin rail footrests. Looks pretty complicated, but it's actually simpler than you think. Let's get right to it. I'm just going to slide this stuff back here, and the first thing we're going to do is take off this front cover. We're going to use a five millimeter Allen, and there's two screws in front here, and we'll simply loosen them up and pull them out. Once you get the, the bolts out, you're going to pull this off straight out. So come in the back side of it here and just pull straight out. You'll see there's a couple tabs right in here you want to make sure that they don't break. This one here fits in a slot and this one here fits in that slot. So you just want to pull them out nice and straight without, uh, without breaking them. And we'll set this aside and move on to removing the rest of the plastic. Next two bolts we need to take out is this one right here and there's one on the back side back right there. So again, these are five millimeters. Just simply unscrew them. With the bolts out, you see this is loose here, it's loose in the front. You just kind of like to put some thumbs right here and just pull out because there's a little rubber grabber that's inside of here little grommet and it'll pop off like that. And then we want to move to the bottom. There's a couple little clips here and there's one little trick you want to make sure you get right so you don't break your, your factory cover. Now just inside of here, there's a little finger that goes in. Under here, there's a tab you want to make sure is popped out. It's right there. And then this whole assembly should slide straight forward just like that. And then it'll pop off. And I'll show you where that finger is. It's this one right here. And that goes into this hole here. So remember that when we reinstall it, but I'll show it to you too, so you don't need to worry about that. And then we'll just set this aside. First thing we gotta do is install this bracket and it installs using this bolt right here at the base of the engine guard. That's a 12 millimeter socket that I use here. And we'll just pop that right off. That bolt looks like that. We're not going to reuse this, so we can just set it aside. Now we're going to take this long bolt here with the washer. We're going to go right through this hole here and right back where we, where we were. And this is a six millimeter Allen head that I'll be using to tighten that. All right, with that snugged in there, next we're gonna do is we're gonna put this piece that goes over the top of the bar like that. So just wrap that over the top just like that. And we're gonna put the hex head with the, with the 10 millimeter hex head here in a washer right into here. I'll get out of your way in a sec. That goes right in there. So I like to, I'll just take two fingers here and tight that down finger tight. And the next one goes right through here into the hole underneath there. You may need to loosen this up just a little bit to adjust if needed. And on this one, it is needed. Lined up. We'll get that finger tight. Now we're gonna go back around and tighten these three bolts and then that mount here is perfectly secure. Next part we gotta do is we're gonna put the slider right onto this bracket. And notice it says right side, you know, everything that's marked right or left has a R or a L on it. And what I like to do with these is just set it up in this middle position. So you see you have four holes there. I just pick the center two to get started with. You can adjust these later once you get everything together because you'll, you'll want to adjust the peg where you want it. So let's just get those two put together. Again, we'll be using the five millimeter Allen head. I'm 
Let me get those started in there. There we go. The next step, now that we have everything here bolted and secure, is to put the plastic back on and then we'll do some sub-assembly to get the, the arm in position. Okay, to replace this side cover, here's that finger I was telling you about earlier. That's gonna go in this slot right here. You're gonna put that in first and slide it back a little bit. There's also this tab here that needs to go inside of this area. And this is the little clip that we pulled out that popped right there. So we're gonna start up top, get it basically in position, slide it back a little bit, and then look underneath and we'll get the clips put in. Okay, now that slid back in place, you can see because your hole will line up on the top here. And now make sure your clips are on the inside. And that clips together. Now, push the center piece here till that makes that noise and you can feel that in there solid. Now remember these two are loose. We'll put the bolt back in here and the one back here and then we can move to the sub-assembly. And the one in back. So we're gonna put this front cowling back on and the only trick of this really is to make sure this little tab right here goes into this slot first and then this little one goes into this little slot next. So we start there like that and put that in. Now it'll just fall into place. Give it a little tap, replace the, the two screws that we took out and uh, that's back together. Okay, next steps here are we are going to take the arm in the clevis and we're going to pre-assemble this to this. Now notice the arm has a thick side and a thin side. The thick side is goes towards the bottom right here and the, the thin side will go towards the clevis. So we're gonna take this clevis and with the, the screw here on the upside, on the, like, just like that, we're going to screw that together. So I like to just get it about like that and then set it on the bike and kind of get a feel where you're going to want it to be. Usually if you put it at about one o'clock, that gets you pretty close. And then get this so this is level with the ground here and then just tighten it up. So now it should look like that. And then you'll be able to adjust this. And this is all fully adjustable. So later when you get it on the bike and you get sitting on it, you might want to adjust it later. But for right now, this will get you set up. So now you just bolt this on. We'll set that so it's about level like I had it. Tighten it up. Next, we're gonna put the adapter on. Make sure you have the right for the right side. And we're gonna put that in this way. We also have the spring washer that'll, that'll put some tension on it to keep it from moving. So you put the tension, put the spring in like this, like so. And you want the ribs to be facing up. We're gonna slide that right in there. Just like that. Now you have the, the axle that it rides on and the little clip. So that goes through. Sometimes you gotta wiggle this a little bit to get it to go through all the way, just like that. And you just simply put the little clip on. I'm gonna push it down using the Allen wrench, makes it a little bit easier to see. Like that, and now that's mounted. Next, we're going to put the peg on. So we're going to use this bolt in the washer. Notice it's a very narrow washer because it needs to fit down in here. So with that set up like that, we can start it. And now what you want to do is get it near the angle that you want it to be at. You can see we're going to put it about, about there, angled towards the driver, and then tighten it up. Now you see it folds up without hitting the engine. 
And again, this whole unit can slide back and forth with the two bolts underneath. But for right now, that is how you install it. The other side is just like this one, but just using all the left-hand parts. So that's it. There really isn't that much to it, actually, once you take it step by step. If you want to see more about the fitments and what this thing can do for you, you go to goldstrike3d.com and simply type in the three-way adjustable highway peg mounts and it'll pop right up for you. I'm Ken with Goldstrike. I hope this was helpful and thanks for watching.